and welcome to MC Lunchtime Live. I'm Year 11 student Madeline Caffieri and welcome to the show. And I'm Caitlin Donnelly. I'm a Year 9 student at Mercedes College. We're very excited to bring you the first episode of MC Lunchtime Live for 2021. After a shaky start, we're well into Term 2 and it's been a busy year for us here at Mercedes College. That's so true, Madeline. Lots of activities, but the biggest one of, all, of course being to that celebration of 120... 75th year anniversary at of Mercedes College. This was a huge day with lots of activities and memories. Let's take a look at some of the exciting times at the day. Wasn't that a great recap of events and a wonderful celebration for the whole college? And speaking of the college, students Steph Scott and Sienna Ando went around, the, went around the grounds last week and asked some students some interesting questions. Hi, I'm Sienna and I'm Steph and here's a short Q&A with the year 7 and year 12. So how's your step on um, Well, I was a bit unsure if I was going to make any friends or um, have any friends with the teachers, but now I feel very safe in this environment. Um, it's very busy, we have a lot to do, but it's really annoying, so... What was your favourite part about Term 1? Um, my favourite part about Term 1 was like, getting involved in like, all the activities like our staff staying there and all the extra like do like food and textbooks. I really enjoyed making new friends doing the trying to work so much. Okay. Well... <laughs> It's hard work, yeah. but we have good days and bad days, right, so we have a lot of bad days. It'll all be worth it in the end, so we'll just keep pushing on. Looks like the Mercedes ladies are really enjoying 2021. They sure are. And you're about to see more of that in the, this game segment. Celebrity Heads! Am I a male? No. Okay. Do I have long hair? Yes. Do I have brown hair? No. Do I have blonde hair? Yes. 
Um, am I an actor? No. Am I a singer? No. Am I an animated character? Yes. Uh, do I star in more... Um, do I star in anime movies? No. Do I star in more... Uh, do I appeal to younger children? Yes. Do I appeal to children around the age of five? Yes. Am I in a movie? Yes. Are there more than one movie? Yes. Do I sing any songs? Yes. S am I a Disney character? Yes. Am I a Disney princess? Yes. Am I Cinderella? No. What? Elsa? Yes. Um, am I male? Yes. Um, am I in a movie? Yes. Um, am I in like a series? You mean like a series of movies? Yeah. Yeah. TV show, yeah. yeah. Um, um, is my movie a book? Like a book series? Like based off a book? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, in the, in the movie, am I um, like an athlete? Mm, kind of, like not really. Like there are a few okay. stunts, but I don't know. Am I like a nerdy? Like a nerd? Yeah. No, not really, no. Okay. Um, do, do I have any, like, um, friends, like, really good friends that are in the movies? Yes. Okay. Okay, this is just out of the blue. Am I Harry Potter? Yes. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Am I male? Yes. Am I a nerd? No. Am I tall? No. Am I short? Yes. TV show? Yes. TV series? Um, yes, definitely a TV show. I've got a feeling I'm... Am I George the Pig? No. Okay. But it's like, it is an animation. Okay. Um, um, is it on water? Under the water, yes. Under the water? SpongeBob SquarePants. Yes! <laughs> Earlier this year, the whole college headed off to the HBF Stadium for our annual House Swimming Carnival. This was a great competition with many events. And while the overall winning house was right, all the houses had an outstanding day. Let's see what our college head of sport, Mrs Munro, has to say about this event. <laughs> of the day um, was probably just seeing so many girls in the pool and more girls being in the pool than out of the pool um, and I think whether you were able to do a main pool event or a novelty it was really great to see everybody um, chipping in and doing their part for their house and I'd really love to see that increase for next year as well all about participation because that's essentially what wins the shield um, and also to remembering that if you get put into A division and you come last in A division you actually gain more points if you were to come first um, in B division. So even though you probably don't want to seem like you want to go in A division, well, you actually if you were to come last, you still get more points for your house, and that's what it's all about in terms of getting um, house spirit and um, going towards the trophy. Do you think more people are participating this year than to previous years? Um, it's hard to say because I think yes, because the numbers of the novelties. In what are your favourite races to watch? Oh, definitely the relays. Yeah. Relays are my favourite. Um, I really love um, when we introduced last year with the Star First student relay as well. Yeah. Um, it was just a bit of a shame this year that um, it, it sort of ran over time and that's because we use a new system. But, you know, we, we reflect on that and evaluate it and then implement it for better for next year. But definitely love the relays for all of the year groups because I get to see such great team spirit increased. But then it was difficult at times because um, some of the novelties were on at the same time as main pool events. So then some yeah. girls were trying to go to both. Um, but that's where we need as many people to participate. So if those girls are in main pool events, they shouldn't really be in novelties because then that's um, taking away an opportunity for other girls. But then if girls don't want to step up, then it makes it hard for the house teacher leaders to find people. So I think the biggest thing for next year is just say yes and get involved. Um, 
and um, do your part for your house by getting involved. With the insider goss, who was the one who thought of the teacher-student relay race? Oh, of course it's me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. of course. <laughs> no, it was a team effort from our department. Um, we're like, how, can, how else can we make it fun? And so yeah, we did decide to do that and it's something that we would like to keep doing obviously for athletics as well yeah. um, and would love to have any staff that want to put their hand up to run the 100 metres because we might be a few staff members down. Yeah, okay, me. pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> How do those teachers get selected? Is it lucky oh, yeah. dip or? Oh well, no, they volunteer sometimes a little slight blackmail by me <laughs> saying Can you please swim, please, please. Um, and. Uh, yeah, basically they're just great sports that they put them put themselves out there. Um, and if I ask them, they of course um, don't want to say no. Yeah. <laughs>